you've said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man. So I will not ask you to indict men in this question. But I do want you to speak, Ayanla, to how women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources, and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. Would you date a bus driver? You. Would you date If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, See, that's a it. problem. That's a problem. That's a problem okay. because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on the sofa playing video games all day. <laughs> I'm not talking about mm -hmm. that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who mm -hmm. we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was if he loved driving the bus, if he was a man of integrity, if he was good to his mama, if he treated me well. Hi everyone, I'm your host, owner and creator of the mix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, you just heard that audio. Um, it was an interview conducted by Ebony Williams. She is an attorney and um, an activist and a feminist. <laughs> she has a plethora of, of accomplishments. Um, she's intelligent. She's beautiful, obviously. But she did an interview, as you can see in here, with Ayana. Um, I believe Ebony, Ebony works for, I think this is a black media channel real so it came from their i believe youtube channel for podcasts or something like that but it's a black media outlet she works for and she had an interview with ayala <laughs> and i do not believe ebony was ready for ayala's response as you can hear in that clip that i shared in the beginning of this video but before i continue with my uh, commentary and opinion about this topic i need for you all to like and share this video also drop a comment get, let's get the discussion going in the comment section do you agree with Ayala? do you me yeah i do i do and i'll get into why i agree with her don't take that video as the only clip because there's more context it's a whole interview so as i stated before in my last video text matters so Oh, so that's neither here nor there. And those also who are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscription button and then the notification bell so you will be in tune with all the videos I drop on my channel, all the videos I drop on my channel. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Ebony and Ayala. Um, Ebony was not ready uh, for Ayala's response. Women and our standards. Uh, it could be very high, but it could be very high not to be okay with our standards not producing the outcome we're looking for. That's just, we can't be resentful, we can't be bitter about it, think rational. <laughs> um, I'm not stating all women don't think rational. I'm just speaking in general for what I see based on news reports and, and social media conversations and all of that and different um, online media reports. It seems like and, uh, women, females nowadays, and they call them modern women, it, there's extremely high standards. And as I stated, it's not like I'm trying to say, oh, no, we're going to snatch your crown. You, you're not this or you're not that. No, we are strong women. We are strong females. We have proven and um, have broken the glass ceiling in so many years. No one can take that away. However, when it comes to relationships, marriage, and things of that nature, sometimes we might have to adjust. And I'm not stating change who you are. Like, you have to really, I guess, know your deal breakers. <clears throat> so, that's when I say state that. Not lowering your standards, but adjust. I think adjust is a fair and correct word to use. Ebony, like I say, she's beautiful. I just don't agree with a lot of her views on a lot of things. So, as you can see, in my opinion, to me, she's really strong-willed and strong-minded. So, 
how can you how can she operate more in her feminine energy it seems like she's probably not even willing to <laughs> operate in that and in, in that sense and and if her standards continue to be as it is so high and a guy has to check out all the boxes then be expected to die alone in my Kevin Samuels voice and I'm a female I, I listened to Kevin Samuels and I liked Kevin Samuels God rest his soul rest in peace um, KS Kevin Samuels I really liked his content and let's not get it twisted he's done content men as well too so he's held men accountable and females accountable so um, but yeah this whole interview that she did Ayala it kind of gives me Kevin Samuels vibes this clip so and again there's full context to all of this and I think the interview was about women outpacing men um, in so many different areas and in my opinion like why does there have to be a competition you know so I, I like to try to find a balance nowadays like I said in my latter years when you know better you do better you learn and all of that so but I digress on that let's break down what Ayala was stating and Ebony's um I guess you could say (laughs) semi-response and it was shocking it was shocking Ebony was taken aback she wasn't ready for Ayala but here we go here's the the clip so I'm going to break this down you said that you cannot teach a man or tell a man how to be a man so I will not ask you to indict men in this question but I do want you to speak Ayala to I'm going to pause it right there you hear Ebony even her tone and I'm not piling on or coming down on her and dyke man and her choice of words. So it seemed like she's against men in a sense. And I'm, and I'm not saying some men out here are not clowns or F boys or whatever you want to call them or a holes. Um, but it, it just seems like Ebony is generalizing this and it, that shouldn't be the case. And there's millions of men in this world so this is why I don't typically listen to Ebony I used to listen to her and I'm just like oh no I I can't rock with some of the things that she speaks on and speaks about and um, I'm not feeling it but here we go the, the audio how women need to uh I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build, when some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all. Um, <laughs> okay, in fairness, she says some, but in certain terms of work, facilitate her, her own agenda. <laughs> to create her own agenda but whatever that's neither here nor there and like I stated I'm really not fond of her <laughs> like that beautiful woman very intelligent all of that uh, hell of a uh, hell of uh, accomplishments but yeah here we go they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about they're not earning the incomes they're not having the resources and some of them are not even showing up in the leadership would you date a bus driver? Mm, I'm ready. You. Would you date if he you? owns the bus? If he owns it. She talking to you, Ebony. She's talking to you, sweetie. <laughs> Will you, would you date a bus driver? But, Ebony, feminist Ebony, he has to own it. Here we go. Owns the bus, that's what we That's the problem. Mm. That's a problem because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on his sofa playing video games all day. I'm not talking about that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is awful. We are as women. She's speaking, she's preaching. Wished I would have known a lot of things years ago, many, many moons ago, (laughs) many, many moons ago. Um, I think, in my opinion, a lot of women, we need need to unlearn some things and we need to learn some new things when it comes to relationships, dating, all of that. But yeah, Ebony wasn't ready. (laughs) Ebony wasn't ready. 
And again, this is giving me Kevin Samuels, <laughs> this type of uh, snippet of this video interview. And who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver if he was, if he loved driving the bus, mm -hmm. if he was a man of integrity, mm -hmm. if he was good to his mama, mm -hmm. if he treated me well. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. There you have it. Again, I know it's a full interview out there somewhere. I'm not sure if they posted it on the Grio um, website. I do know that they have a YouTube channel, so head on over there or whatever. But I have someone else's YouTube channel, this audio, uh, this clip, basically. But yeah, so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Do you agree with Ayala? Do you agree that Ebony seemed like she was taken aback? <laughs> she wasn't expecting that. Um, in my opinion, Ayala is holding women accountable. You know, we have to think about, like I stated before, okay, you have this box, you have that box. They have to check all the boxes. But in reality, if that doesn't happen, be prepared to just die alone or get a cat, get a dog or whatever, you know, like Kevin Sanders used to state. So, and be okay with that, you know, so... Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, everybody? What are your thoughts about this clip? Also, I'm going to post within my description section. I did a video, um, masculine, modern women, and it connected with the lady who m her husband on Facebook Live. And in that particular video I published, it was a clip that Ayala did with the Breakfast Club. It's just a snippet of that clip as well. Basically talking about women nowadays. And I think she was specifically speaking to black women. But nevertheless, she basically was stating how as women, we it seems like we're not operating in our as operating in our feminine divine nature energy so on the breakfast club she basically was stating that also focused on how women we tend to want our men or partners our males our guys to be our girlfriend you know so my video was masculine modern women and I wasn't trying to make an excuse for the lady who and her husband on Facebook Live, but it's a lot of things that women were not, we don't hold ourselves accountable in so many different areas. And then when you emotionally uh, irresponsible or emotionally immature and reckless, it, things can go downhill. So in my opinion, I think all this connects because Ayala, she's, she is very wise. I, I view her as a wise woman as somebody I could learn from, you know. So I agree with Ayala. I agree with Kevin Samuels. Not every single thing Kevin Samuels spoke about, no. And not every single thing that Ayala speaks about. But for the most part, I do agree with them in their thought process and their thinking, especially when it comes to accountability. And then two, both spoke about, it spoke in a, in a space of where men need to be held accountable and this and that, and et cetera, et cetera. But like Ayala, uh, I think stated once before, you can't teach a man how to be a man. So, you know, um, and which is true. I do not believe a woman can teach a man how to be a man. I'm just, that's just my opinion. We could get, agree to disagree. Some females think that it's possible to teach a man how to be a man, but I just, I totally don't um, agree with that. Mothers are, women are more nurturing and so that, and although we can play the tough role, um, it could be that when, we, when it comes to our kids, our boys, oh, that switch is can be turned off and before you know it we're nurturing so they do need that strong male figure in a sense to teach them how to be a man in certain um, spaces in their lives and their character and things of that nature so standards part as females our standards could be a bit out of reach and it's like we have to look at it face value we have to kind of get our heads out the clouds the fairy tale and really think that a guy may check out all the boxes um that's quite far-fetched <laughs> especially with a large pool of guys so i'm not stating meet them where they're at but as i said before having like an adjustment an, an adjustment to the overall standard of what your ideal um, mate or partner or husband would possibly be or somebody you're, you're, you're strongly dating. So, and Kevin Samuels also spoke on that too, also about standards. Like females, we may have these standards, but what are you bringing to the table? Is it a bit far-fetched? Um, do you have a, 
a cookbook, a recipe book from scratch where you can go in there and cook a meal for three to four days a week. How are you domestic wise? So this is a lot to consider as well as females. We have to think about this. What are we inviting or bringing to the table? However, we have a list of expectations about how the guy should be or possibly meet a certain amount of boxes. So, and realistically, in this day and age, that's pretty far-fetched. So, yeah, we have to get our minds out of the fairy tale type of um, mode <laughs> and, and think of things realistically. It's some things it's a bit far-fetched, and I understand what Ayala was saying when she talked about the standards and the prerequisites of having certain standards in terms of and, and we can just use the example if the guy checks off the financial box or entrepreneurship or uh, he may want kids uh, he may have a, a drinking habit though uh, he may have you know there's some pros and cons you just never know he may have a poor money management issue but there's the flip side to it he's very kind he's this he's that or you might have a guy like the bus bus example he check off checks off all the boxes but you want him to be an owner <laughs> of the bus and he likes to just work simply as a bus driver so we can't really win them all in some instances, and that's probably a small percentage, that you can win them all. And maybe winning it, win it all in your mind or view or standard is whatever situation you're in or whomever you're married to and you're fine with that. But yeah, so I, I totally agree with Ayala on this case. And like I stated before, this is giving Kevin Samuels and she spoke about Kevin, excuse me, Kevin Samuels has spoke about topics like this as well when he was alive. I don't want to continue to go on about that, but it's just, I'm just connecting both posts. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the mix, like, share, subscribe, share this um, video, share, 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 listen to the entire video for supporting my channel. If you want to donate, go ahead and drop donations at um, TP Legal 30. That's my Zelle, TP Legal 30 at gmail.com. And my cash app is dollar sign T H E M I X X 30. So go ahead, Zell or cash app me for donations for content and has creation for my channel. Thank you all for supporting. Thank you all for liking, viewing, and I'm just watching and checking my videos out. I, as I stated before, it gets greater later and I'm starting to try my best to up at a level. But again, I need resources to do that. But, and meanwhile, I will work with what I have <laughs> until the resources start coming in. But I'll talk to you guys soon.